Let's go to the US and uh, university presidents there. It was uh, a win this week in the battle against anti-Semitism with the resignation of the president of the University of Pennsylvania. Now, for those who missed the story, this president, along with the presidents of Harvard and MIT, told a congressional hearing that chants on their campus calling for intifada didn't cross the line for unacceptable speech. Then, 24 hours later, the president of Pennsylvania University apologised, but this video did not save her job. I was not focused on, but I should have been. I want to be clear. A call for genocide of Jewish people is threatening, deeply so. It is intentionally meant to terrify a people who have been subjected to pogroms and hatred for centuries and were the victims of mass genocide in the Holocaust. In my view, it would be harassment or intimidation. My God, Danica, you, are you, buying that? you can see her reading the line. That was a well scripted. It looked like it was a hostage. You can video. see her yeah. eyes like moving. It was, well, it was well scripted. What a gutless woman in the in in the first instance to come out with those appalling comments. Now she's been forced to backtrack, whether it was uh, on her own, off her own accord or not. Um, I just think it it really just goes to the bigger picture uh, of how leaders are treating this issue and what we've discussed before. That leaders are just gutless on what is an awful, awful anti-Semitism issue. James would you like to see it happen here? Would you like to see our Senate have hearings and call up the vice chancellors of our universities and sit them down and say, is this permissible on your campus? We should call up some of our senators and ask them if what Correct. they've done is permissible. Yes. Thinking yeah. of the Greens, Joe. Could we just rewind the tape? Was genocide good or bad? Sorry, yeah. get that precise. <laughs> no, she wanted to make clear genocide oh, she's is oh, bad sorry, now. She, now sorry. Yeah. After considering the matter, I've realised that genocide <laughs> in all its forms is bad. I mean, it, it's amazing, isn't it? And it shows you how indoctrinated these people have been in a little bubble that they couldn't actually just know that instinctively when it was yeah. staring them in the face. It's glorious. Lovely well, free speech.